Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is Amy from With Love by Amy. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today we are going to use these nested um, arches dies from Spellbinders to create a shaker card. I am participating in a hop over on Instagram and the theme for the hop is, um, it this week it is booze, coffee, or tea. And I didn't think I had anything. I couldn't come up with any ideas for coffee. And I knew I didn't have any coffee themed stamps currently. So I remember that I had thought these kind of looked like a wine glass. And I haven't done a shaker for a little bit. So I thought I would give this a try. Now I am just putting this on an, at an angle on the card panel. And I'm going to use the smaller of the arches dies to kind of draw the stem of the wine glass. And I'm totally just freehanding it. As you can see, I'm not measuring or anything. Um, and I did make sure that when I taped that top arch down to the um, where I want it die cut, I did make sure that I left a decent amount so that I can put the foam tape behind there to create the thickness that I'll need behind there to make my shaker panel. And there is the base of my wine glass, totally just freehanded essentially with the help of that die. And yes, now that I'm looking at it, it looks a little wonky, but I ran it through the die cut machine. I like the way it looks, even though it isn't exactly straight. It's kind of like, I don't know, it's just a little off, but all right. I did off camera, I die cut six of those white die cuts and I glued them all together. Those are going to be make my little shaker well. And then we are going to use some stamps to stamp on the base of the, or whatever, the top panel of the shaker. And these are just things that I had in my stash that I haven't used in quite a while. Um, I think stamp abilities, I think is that stamp set with the circles and everything. And then I have the little, I think it's Studio G by Hampton Arts or something like that for the little, the little one with the little wine glass and the martini glass and stuff. And I thought this was cute. These are both, um, I think they're acrylic stamps because they didn't want to come off of the the background at all. And I've never used them before. Somebody gave them to me and I've never used either of these sets before. So I thought I would give it a shot and see if I like them enough to keep them or if I want to pass them along. But they're cute. I just don't know if I would ever use them again, really. Um, but I'm just going to stamp them with my VersaFine Onyx Black ink. We're just trying to add some more vis visual interest to what will be the front of my shaker card. And then I decided to go over it with some, oh, I can't remember what that is, spun sugar maybe, distress oxide. And I didn't wait long enough and my black ink wasn't exactly dry. So it's kind of smearing a little bit and kind of annoying me because that was like a rookie mistake. I should have known to heat set it really quick because it literally would have taken me one second to do that. But live and learn, I guess, but it's, it's just cute. I, this, this hop is taking place the day before my birthday. So I thought I wanted to make the cutest curl, girliest wine card that I could come up with because I, I just like me some wine. All right, now we're going to fill in the stem of the wine glass and go around the outside or the inside edge of the wine glass part, just to make it look a little finalized or finished or whatever. And we're using Olo markers. I think I, I showed a screenshot of what color that one is. I can't remember now off the top of my head what it was, but I will put it in the description below. I really love my Olo markers and that handle makes it really handy to um, use it and just switch it out when you go from marker to marker because of the little thread thingy on it just is super easy to use. And I'm obsessed with it. And I'm going to see, I'm scribbling on the inside of my shaker well too. Just, do I have a good reason to do that? Not really. But, you know, it is what it is. I thought it was a good detail. You can let me know if that's like too much or is it a good idea. I know there are some people that probably would have decorated the panel that goes behind the shaker well too. But... I just didn't think of it. All right, now we're gonna glue the acetate on here. I have a bunch of old transparencies that I bought a long time ago for a different project, and that was just a scrap of one of those. And it, I went in the box and I found it and I was pretty excited because it was just the right size. 
And now we're gonna very carefully get some glue on here and glue the shaker well back onto the back of this panel. We're gonna line it up as good as possible. I'm usually really bad at lining up the stuff for shakers. So this time I'm gonna try really hard to get everything to line up so it doesn't look like amateur hour. Um, I set something on there to let that dry for a while. And now we're just gonna go put um, double-sided foam tape all the way around the whole card panel. And I think I stacked up six sheets of cardstock for the, the well. And if I had thought about it a little more, I wouldn't have done six sheets because I'm only gonna use sequins and stuff. I didn't need that much thickness. I thought I had some tiny little pearls that I could throw in there, but I couldn't find them. When I was trying to find my shaker stuff, I couldn't find them. So I only used like um, some glitter, some glitter and some sequins, which didn't need as much thickness because the foam tape is not the same thickness as my six sheets of cardstock. And I was like contemplating doing doubled up foam tape, but then it would have been too thick. And so there is my conundrum, but I just did one single layer of foam tape. It was close enough, I guess. And I did make sure, oh look here, I'm putting the anti-static powder tool inside the um, shaker well. And I'm just trying to get the white powder off of there because I always, I feel like every single time I make a shaker, the acetate, the stuff sticks to the acetate. And I don't know, does anybody have any solutions for that? Like, see, I put the anti-static powder in there. Was my mistake like wiping it off? Like, I don't know. Um, and here we are finding my shaker bits. But yeah, if you have any suggestions on what I should do to make sure that the stuff, my shaker bits don't stick to the inside of my acetate, leave me a comment down below because I'm all ears. I. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Should I wash the acetate with pla with water first? I don't know. Um, but yeah, here's my shaker bits filling. And then I decide I need something else. I'm literally just throwing in random stuff. And I'm like looking around, looking around. Oh, I found it. Here we go. And then, oh no, I spilled some all over the place. I'll be right back. And we're back. All right. So now I'm putting liquid glue on the back of my double-sided adhesive. And I have this lined up in the corner of my misty so that I put it down right. And I'm, this is the actual card. I didn't want to make a bunch of extra bulk. So I made sure that I put the card panel the correct direction. And there you got to see it shake, shake, shake. I'm at, attaching the sentiment and we are just about done. I'm gonna put some Nouveau drops. These are blizzard, oh, winter blizzard on there. We're gonna just make it a little textury, I guess, or whatever. We're just gonna put some dots here and there on some of the stamps that I've put on. I have no, you know, uh, reason behind my. And here is the finished product. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Thanks, bye.